Please subscribe to all things Midlands. <laughs> hey guys, a whack bat in the video. Dad, what for the way? What are you thinking today then? Well, I'm thinking it's a wet, not, not such a good day, but listen, you've got to remember, right? The, you know the weekend, everybody's moaning about the weekend. It was a nil-nil draw, or we didn't lose, that's the main thing. And the thing that mean, mainly, for me, in my opinion, is the fact that we didn't concede. Absolutely. That was like, that's been our problem for the last couple of weeks, and yeah. that was the main plus part of the game, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm glad you said that, because I'm beginning to wonder whether whether all the, 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 the talk of going to Luton has unsettled Palmer, because he's had a few dodgy stuff. Then again, he saved us during that game. I hear on the grapevine in the week, right, Carl Bartley, 38 grand a week, yeah, uh, he now. doesn't want to go. You know something, Dan, I'm getting to the point where I'm thinking, you know something, the easiest thing for me and you to, to do would be to get a Man City shirt on, go and sing Blue Moon and say we are the champions. We are born and bred Albion fans, like thousands of others. I'm going tonight in the hope that we get a point or we win, but you know what, come rain or shine, whether we're in the top leagues of the bomb, I'm Albion through and through, steeped in history. Saw Brendan Batten on the telly last night, mentioned the three degrees, got airs on the back of my neck standing up. I love the baggies, always will. I've got to ask you, Cookie Dad. Imagine. Oh. It's after two months. He had a really good game against Bristol, guys. What do you think about that one? Oh, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll trump that. I, I'm beginning to think that we jinx, but don't know whether it's true, Dan. I heard that the pre season, uh, someone come in for uh, Jed Wallace. Yeah, three million was it? Middlesbrough, aren't it? Yeah, yeah, three million. Yeah, guys, we'll have a debate about this one because it's really interesting because I'm pretty sure we'll talk about their Mackies later, but there might be a far say in January. We're going to more on that, but what are you yeah, going for? I'm, today, I'm not talking for. I'm, I, I'm gonna, I don't think we're going to get the result we want. I think we're going to be. It's going to be a tough one, I know. It I is. think we're going to lose 2 1. I'm going to say possibly for a 1 0 win. What time is it? It's your time. Running, guys, we are in. Famous American restaurant, Dad, what are you thinking today? I'm thinking we're winning already because I've just won six <laughs> McNuggets. <laughs> 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 Breaking news, Dad. Down more, what do you think about this one? Then? Please, I thought it was all quiet on the Darren Moore front. I think the way he was treated at, at Sheffield Wednesday was disgraceful. Took a lot of time for him and not just because of the Albion connection. However, that means we're going to be one of our rivals. But listen, I want to focus on this ownership business. Unless we sort something out quickly, we may not have a club. Yeah, We're heading for... Don't stop me because I'm on the road. We are heading for oblivion. We're financial oblivion. We have been taken to the cleaners inside and out. Well, I've got to say that I think it was pointing yesterday on screen now. The Athletic Club's in about um, 15 mil take of his open for investment Albion. They want to get it done by January, otherwise the players say I'm... Well, I'm thinking Middle East, what do we say? Well, you know, this is where we've got to be careful because I was thinking about this last night. But what would you rather do, be in Albion's position or Watford's position? In other words, Watford have got a convey about a manager, no stability. But us, on the other hand, we've got a history. I think you probably remember Robbie Watford, and yeah, they need to they've got the actual decent well, owner. Well, yeah, but you, you, you say he's decent, but he keeps on chopping and changing managers. But for me, we're a sleeping giant in my book, and we really need to be treated with respect. And that starts with the players and the players tonight, because I'll tell you something. I get the impression these players just going through the motions. I know that Carlin Grant scored last night for, for uh, the loan job. But listen, I just want the Albans to have a bit of passion about them. I just wished, wished I knew what was wrong with Jed Wallace. Yeah, it's good you know, that, yeah. Well, it's pretty much what do you think is wrong with Jed at the moment if you can feel the form? I think it's not just the captaincy. I heard uh, 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 one of his children aren't very well. But listen, we love the Albin. Whoever puts that blue and white striped shirt or green and yellow or even this beautiful baby. But listen, Dan. It doesn't look like there's many going today. Yeah, yeah, for what, what time is it? It's time. Good evening, we're at a windswept, rain-swept Vicarage Road, the home of football, and we've grabbed ourselves to Glory Hornet boys. My name's Paul, your name, sir? Will. Will, pleased to meet you, mate. Mackay. Mackay? Mackay. Mackay, well to meet you. Right, so how long have you been supporting the Glory Hornets? Uh, pretty much the whole life. And, that's, and how young are you? 13. God, I wish I could be that age, <laughs> I'll tell you. Same age as you as well? 13, yeah. Good man, good man. So listen, who's your favourite player? Um, at the moment, I'd probably say I'm liking Delhi Bashiri. He's a good player, isn't he? Yeah. How about you, my man? Quite a Ryan Andrews. Oh, I like it. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Hey, I've got to ask you, and I know that it's raining, so it won't keep it too long. He's, what do you think of Val? Big Val? Um, I'm liking him at the moment, but knowing what for, we can barely keep a manager, so we've got to, if we trust him, then I reckon he'd be a bit worse. Good man, how about you? What are you thinking? Good guy, but hasn't got us results yet, but maybe two game, two wins. Uh, maybe out soon. So I'll tell you something, right? I, I actually think you will be on the wrong, Albion will be on the wrong end of the score tonight. I'm going for what for two Albion one. What are you going for? I'm going to go, I think, I think we do like to dominate games, but we can't score goals, so I'm just going to go one now. 
Saka. What's the album? Hang on, you sir. It's brilliant, Amy. See, thank you very much for stopping. All I hope is that it's a good game. Enjoy, stay safe, and good luck to the rest of the Well then, guys, and if you can hear us, but we are in. Where's it under there? Yeah, we're the Spoons in the city centre of uh, Watford. That is close to becoming your second home with the Spoons. Listen, can we just hold a bit for that? Well, yeah, it was a lovely pub, but I think that they only traded on match day, so a bit like the wagon and horses. That means Friday's gone down now. However, that's fine with you. What are you thinking? I've got to be honest with you, though. Mine's a straight lager. I'm going for 9 out of 10. But the bar staff are lovely. 7 out of 10. And the locals are nice as well, though. What are you thinking? Fearing the worst, Dan. Yeah, I'm fearing the worst. Well, I'm speaking to the locals, they reckon they'll give it a go for 60 minutes and then they'll tire. And that's when we come into life, but let's just wait and see. Wind sweat night, not a decent journey down here. Let's hope the match is a saviour. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here's the big dog. And here we go. Is that what you're thinking? Lovely for a game of football, Dan. Looking tasty, baby. Michael's can't lie. The big man here with a couple of shirts and he's pissed. Now, all the odds of you, Ryan, are jumping over here, look at him. Pretty good. I might just go and ask the steward if he can author us. Come on, boys. And it's swan nil already. Opening goal for Holland scored by number seven, Tom Ince. Running guys, 1-0, Tom Ince and Dad. What are you thinking? We've been stung early doors, I'll tell you what. Two minutes, first shot, one goal. Yeah, to be fair, Dad. I wouldn't say, you could see him as well again, really. It's a, it's a great shot, it's a great goal, really. Just to show how fragile we are. Ince, he took his shot. I thought you were asking it, he's done it. And what a goal, that is one one Swifty Dad, what are you thinking? That cancels out the first one, Swifty, perfect Dan. Come on, now, lads! Come on. And he's celebrating by sliding down there. What would happen? Big trouble. Oh, I 
Listen, I'm looking at the footage. I looked by the footage, Jay, but for why now? Oh, it's all in the second third. This is fantastic. I didn't expect this. Dad, what do you think so far, though? Brilliant, Dad. Brilliant. Brilliant. Come on, lads. Jay and Sarah Reed, just two. So bad, Bobby Taylor. We'll sing this song for No, we shouldn't. I'm a grown man. But just advise the stewards. You score three. I'm on there. I've already gone on. He's next. You going for that? I've got no choice. I've got to... <laughs> I'll do this next. And they've missed the goal. It's gone in. Raptor. What's the goal? What a goal, eh? And out of nowhere, Cracker, but well, Mr. Recording, so I was recording a minute ago by jumping on. But tell what a goal, that's Martins. Yeah, good goal, I'm not going to moan They played really well to score that, but you know what? Far from overdone, 22 minutes gone. What Two a game on. it is. Well, One of the guys went straight into it, Dad. We've got a cheeky hot dog with you because someone's a bit pissed, then you know. Well, I'm not there. You wanted some beer, I didn't. I'm, I'm being the adult here, but I just bought one of these. 675 beans, right? <laughs> Rubbery. I think the sausage is a bit rubbery. Really? The, the bun's alright, but you know what? It'll do. Two all drawn at the moment. I mean, she's fair. You got mid, Dad. I mean, both sides have something great, have they? No, but in my opinion, I think both sides look really lackluster at the back. And I feel like the problem going forward is that I, I, I don't even think we deserve the two goals, but I'll tell you, Brendan. I think it's the same, uh, uh, Incy's, Tom Incy's goal was against the run of his first shot. No, it's even Stevens, I think the second half's going to be great. We've got to admit what game it's been so far. I'm thinking my hot dog, like, yeah, 7 out of 10, not too bad. I'm, I'm going to jump mine. All right, I'll agree with you, 7 out of 10. But you know something, they've surpassed my expectations. And mind you, you've got to admit, it's funny that all jumps on there and then all the stewards have come down here. Yeah, but we're not condoning that, are we? No, we're not. No, we're not. The guys. second half's still to come. What is going on? It's showtime! Yeah. Well, yeah. Come on, boys! Come on, you badges! Adi, 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 oh! Where's from the sea? From the back of the sea? Adi, 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 oh! And two. What's your name, Lena? Just pre warning him. It'll be alright. Go sit! Go sit me! Go on, Sam Dog! 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 on, Oh, what a great game, Dad. What are you thinking? Good solid substitutions, Dan. Magic, you know. Jeremy Sarmiento. What a save. What a save. So we never sees the whole stadium club in Nathan Shelby there. I don't know what's coming. Oh, what do you think of Jed's performance? Very good. Well in. Well in, son! Full time. Full time. 
Albion 2. And big credit to all the Albion fans who travelled here today in their numbers as well. Sang throughout and got a very good game. Got one third points out at least. Third place to play from the fans that deserve it. Good difference there. And to be fair, you made this name and chatted up an alright shift and you're finally got through 90 minutes. What do you think of that? Put down in the comments. Both of us had chances to win the game, but I think, I think it showed really the lack of defence, really, because it could have be been more goals, couldn't it? Yeah, I think that Thomas Asante and Gilted yeah, took yeah, them away. Yeah, yeah. But you know what, he ran his heart out, Dan. I think that Palmer kept us in it, but I'll tell you something, Dan, very happy with them. They put a shift in. You, as you came earlier, you, you take the point, don't you? Make sure, do you, do you to the point? I think at the end of the day, you come away from home, we don't want really to win away, and we got a point out of it. The only thing I want to do this, but I didn't want to say it before the game, I just to a Blues blog where they came down and said the ref was a bit suspect. That ref yeah, was suspect, yeah. but you know what? Points even, honest even, we're unbeaten on the road in two. I'm happy done. Exactly, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Big shout out to the Watkins fan today. What for fans are great, and I tell you what, me. tell you what, what fans are brilliant, and the stewards. The stewards are one of the best. See if we can get them on before we go, shall we? Guys, thank you so much for the video. Make sure to subscribe, and peace, what time is it? It's showtime.